this is Justin. He's going to be talking to you guys about Jim Ford, which is probably the most popular athlete in history. Uh, I'm going to be talking about Jim Ford. Does uh, anyone know what he's famous for? Sure. He's a famous Olympiad. Olympic, yeah. Um, well, he won the a place was named after him. He was also a professional uh, baseball and football player. But uh, I'll be talking about his family, his education, uh, his college athletics, the Olympics, uh, his professional career, both baseball and football, and uh, what he left behind. So uh, first, he was born in uh, Oklahoma. He was a uh, Sac and Fox Indian. He, uh, his father was uh, Irish and his mother was an Indian. He had a brother, a twin brother, Charlie, died at age nine. He was married three times, had uh, six children. There's him sitting with his second wife, Frida. Um, he, uh, he started school in Oklahoma, where he was born, and uh, his father sent him to the Haskell Institution for Indians in Kansas. He, uh, his brother died when he was at the institution, and he kept running away, so his father sent him to uh, the Industrial Indian School in uh, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Um, in 1907, he uh, started at Carlisle. He, uh, he was walking by the track field one day, and decided to go try the high jump in his street clothes, his jeans, and his, his uh, converses. And uh, he ended up beating all the records that day, just in street clothes. He, uh, he then went on to play football. He met uh, the famous Pop Warner, which is PB football. Uh, he was a running back, a defensive back, a place kicker, and a punter. He led the team to the national championship, and he had two All-American -Amer All honors. There he is running at uh, Carlo. And uh, he took part in the 1912 Olympics in Stockholm. He did the pentathlon and the decathlon. He, uh, he ended up, he won, he won gold in both events and set the Olympic record for points in each of them. Um, the next year afterwards, it came out that he had played semi-pro baseball in Carolina while he was at Carlisle. And, um, he, uh, his medals were taken away and the records were taken away because he corrupted his amateur status. But um, professional baseball teams got a whiff of this and they said, all right, we'll sign him. So, and then his professional career started. He uh, played for five, five teams. Um, he played for three different teams, five seasons. He, uh, he was more of a publicity guy. He uh, was signed to increase uh, gate tickets and get more people in the stands. Um, football, he played for the Canton Bulldogs, um, won championships for three years. He was the first president of the American Professional Football Association, which was the soon to become NFL. He played football all the way until he was 41. And uh, after he was done when he retired, he, uh, he had trouble keeping a job. He played as an extra in several movies. Um, he went to the he went to the Marines for a little bit. He just was all over the place. And uh, his legacy, of course, he has Jim Thorpe, PA, was named after him. And he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He's also named the greatest American football player of all time. And his medals were reinstated in the 1980s. So, any questions? Have you been to Jim Thorpe? Uh, I live in like the town. Yeah. It's beautiful. It won an award as one of the most beautiful towns in the United States. And um, Justin, are you aware of the controversy about his remains? Yeah.